All right, I got this all set up. Now you want to go to your BIOS, and in your BIOS, there's certain things that you have to turn on and off. If not, it affects the the wake on land. So, see if there's still batteries in this son bitch. Okay, let's see here. I am running an MSI board, so just so you know, uh, not that one. Um, nope, not that one. Nope. Uh, you want to use these settings. Um, like onboard land controller, you want that enabled. Uh, land option ROM disabled. Uh, HD audio controller enabled, obviously. Um, what else? Oh, that ain't it. Uh, like I said, I used an old, like, AM2 Plus CPU on this with an AM3 Plus uh, heatsink, and it's only at 40 Celsius. doesn't hurt for a little bit of over overkill plus I don't have AC in my house in the summertime so um, you want you EUMP 2013 disabled auto, auto restore at the power make sure the computers off so that way you don't lose your shit um, Windows 8 feature disabled uh, MSA MSI fast boot disabled and fast boot disabled uh, wake up events this is where you can tell certain things to wake up let's say if you want to wake your computer up by moving the mouse you can or by keyboard you can um, I highly prefer this one on because um, uh, although it's a network card it is PCI or PCIe related uh, to that specific bus port uh, on this board for some reason I don't know why it just does it um, what else do we have here um, I don't think I have shit in here and no it's not overclocked I'm just factory shit I always have cool and quiet on because you're just gonna sit there and idle anyways and what cool and quiet does is just brings the computer to like let's say idling is 500 megahertz and when you start using it then it cranks up the full usage of the processor memory Z no overclock profile don't have any of those um, utilities security passwords boot um, I think it's in here oh nope UEFI boot priorities. No one boot. Oh, uh, there's kind of a new piece of junk. Um, I got in the Echo power savings, I got the EUP disabled, the uh, CPU power phase controller disabled. Motherboard LED control uh, control auto and C1E support disabled. I'm sorry if I'm not giving you a hundred percent clear view because I have a shitty phone, so I can't really show you everything, but I can at least tell you what to look for. Um, nope, don't want to do that. Nope, not that. Uh. uh. But yep, I think that's about it. Yeah, that's that's about it. And I'm only running six gigs of RAM on here, which I can hold up to. I think I maxed it out one time up to ten people. No, sorry, six. And it wasn't even this PC. It was it was a it was a lack of internet. 
or high speed internet. I just want to go make sure the the settings. Um, because I had to run through this board because it was completely different about this board, although it was pretty cheap at the time. It was only like 50, 60 bucks, but I wanted a a, a newer board for power consumption but an older processor which worked out nice although when I built this I did not know that I couldn't use DDR3 1600 but that's fine this board um, lowers it to uh, DD, DDR3 1333 which is plenty I don't have no no problems with it as long as it reads 6 gigs and does its freaking job I don't care and make sure all that craps off Windows feature, fast boot, all that stuff disabled. Because the, the fast boot does the same thing that uh, your computer does when I showed you that the fast boot disabled the fast boot. Because for some reason, it messes with the sleep. Because what, what you wanted to do is you wanted to go to sleep, stay asleep for God knows how long, and when you feel the need to give it a task, it will wake back up that is the idea so uh, I would highly suggest disable everything on this besides your mouse and your keyboard so um, I have the the uh, s3 by USB device so it does both. It's one of those PS2 ports on the back or USB, which I'm using a wireless USB keyboard. Um, everything else is disabled because I didn't want anything else to turn this computer on without me stating turn on. Um, so that's the reason why I did that. And in here you can just leave it to standard mode and, and adjust the settings you want. You don't have to go for every power power saving mode because like I said uh, this one's only 45 watts processor and it really doesn't use a whole lot I mean yes it's definitely overkill um, when I built this thing it was certain areas because I was using leftover spare parts so yes there is a thousand watt power supply on this computer yes I know I uh, trust me I understand I understand it uh, yes it's major overkill yes but when that's the only thing that you got that's the only thing that can be used it's going in there I don't care and like I said I'm only idling at 31 Celsius right now so it's it's not much it's 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 not heating up a whole lot like I said technically this is 1600 it it downgraded it to 1333 um, which this is not a gaming computer it's more of a Facebook um, Facebook Plex, uh, Netflix, and um, that's about all it does anyway. So it's, it's not like it's drawing a crap ton of power. Yes, I would prefer to have about a 400 watt or 600 watt power supply in here, but it's not using no power regardless because it's, it's, it's nothing on the load. It's not even taking the full load off of the power supply. It may be taking a fraction of what it can actually produce. Which is fine with me. It doesn't really matter. That just leaves room for improvement. If I want to get crazy and, you know, put another five or six hard drives in there and array them all together and put a 10, gig a 10 gigabit uh, Ethernet card in there, I can. Although I'm still never going to use a thousand watt power supply, but then again, it's there. And the thing of it is, is I got the power supply for free because the guy said he didn't want it. It's a cool max. Even better yet, don't give me no hassle for going overkill, okay? It is what it is, and it also is what it isn't as well. But yep, that's about it. And from there, after you're done with this, I think it's F. What the hell button is this? Say configurations. 
hit yes. Should come back on. Also, make sure you turn off your mouse too if it's connected to mouse because let's say if you leave your a mouse on the couch and somebody bumps it, it wakes your NAS up. So if you have on and off switches on your keyboard and your mouse, shut them off when you're not using them. Let's see if I can throw this in the sleep mode real quick. And like I said, 60 hertz, 1080p. I could probably overclock it to 70. But no need. I tell you, it's a big sound bitch. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. Mm. Sleep. Eventually, it will go to sleep. Boom. Sleep mode. Hey, Les, you want to wake the NAS up? Like I told you, that little shortcut. Bam. There you go. Back on. So now you all know. Now, I'm going to stop this video, and if you like what I'm showing you guys, subscribe, thumbs up, tell me that I helped you. I know a lot of people aren't smart in computers, or aren't smart in cars, or aren't smart somewhere else, but I'm trying to help you all, because there's one thing that I have learned over the years of my life, and my grandma, grandpa always told me this. There is always one thing that you can give, and that's sharing. Because your knowledge lives on. So if I teach somebody else, that knowledge lives on. If that person teaches somebody else, it stays on. If I keep all this knowledge and I keep it and I take it to my grave, nobody else is going to know how to do it. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm going to get off here and I'm going to upload this video.